Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js how to series, we're going to be learning how to use stream pipelines. A stream pipeline can be used to build a chain consisting of multiple streams. It can be used to compose streams. And one of the advantages is that you can actually get good error handling within your stream pipeline. So in this video, you're going to be learning how to use pipelines to compose your stream operations. To begin, I already have some files set up. Let's take a look. I have this pipelines.js file, which is our project file. And I have this file, this text file, somefile.txt. In somefile.txt, we have some text. And we just have a bunch of uh, lines that says, welcome to DevTalk with FK. And what we're going to be doing is using the transform stream to manipulate this content. We're going to reverse all the text inside here. I already have some code running here, so let's get started. Let's open this up in Visual Studio Code. Now that our project is open in Visual Studio Code, let's open our pipelines.js file. Here I am using the FS module to create two streams, a read stream to read from the somefile.txt file and a write stream to write into a new file named newfile.txt. And uh, like I said, we're going to be using, we're going to be creating a stream operation that transforms a stream. It transforms what is contained inside this some file.txt, reverses it with a transform stream and writes it into this new write stream. Down here, we have the transform stream, which simply just takes the chunk, converts it to a string, splits it into an array, reverses it and joins it back. Let me just pull this back to create some more screen real estate. So we have this. This is the operation that reverses the string. So now we have our transform stream and we have the read and write stream. So let's use pipeline. Let's use our pipeline to compose this operation. The pipeline is contained inside the stream model. So I'm just going to say pipeline. Pipeline. Get it from the stream model. Then we can go down and start working. So yeah, I'm just going to say pipeline. And this is, this is dead easy. You just simply compose your streams one by one. So we first have the read stream, we read from the read stream, we reverse it with the transform stream, and we write to our new file with the right stream. And that's simply it. You can have up to five streams here. You can really, really define the order of your stream operations. Now, like I said, pipelines also have a very good error handling mechanism. So once I have my streams composed, I can just go and the last argument can be an error handling function. So I can say error. This is the error at any point within the pipeline. So let's say you have five stream and there's an error at the third stream, you get the error and you can handle it. So this is the error callback. And if there's an error, I can say if there's an error, just simply console.error. there was an error in the pipeline. And you can go ahead and print the error. If there's no error, you can simply console.log and say pipeline successful. So tip it up, that's great. Um, now we've been able to use our pipeline function to compose our streams and also undo the error within. So let's just save this. And if I go back to the command line, clear this. Now let's run node pipeline, pipelines. Pipeline successful. And if I ls to get the contents of this directory, you can see we now have the new file which has been created. We check the content of the new file. We now have our content reversed. Yeah, just like that. With pipes, we've been able to reverse our content. So as you can see in this video, we've been able to use pipelines to compose our stream operations and also do a little bit of error handling. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for more bite-sized tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.